and cheese, I did a Trader Joe's favorites haul last year sometime and they have so many new items that I thought it would be a good time to update that list. I didn't include anything from my previous list on this list because that would be redundant, but you can check out that video after if you'd like. I tried to share some of my favorite healthier items and I kept it to 10. I could have gone to 20 honestly, but come on, we gotta get through this somehow. First up, vegetable patties. These patties come in two flavors, cauliflower and broccoli and carrot and pea. Both of them are really, really good, but the carrot and pea crisp up a bit more. They're almost like hash browns, but actually have very little potatoes involved. The main ingredients are either carrots and peas or broccoli and cauliflower. They're low in carbs. They're pretty much vegetables and egg whites. I like eating them as is with ketchup, like a hash brown. Or my favorite thing to do is treat them as a vessel for my eggs, almost like egg toast, but without the bread. So delicious for any meal. Triple filtered coconut oil. This stuff is pretty cool because if you're someone who is hesitant about coconut oil because of the taste, this stuff gives you the health benefits of coconut oil but has almost no taste or aroma of coconut at all because it's triple filtered. It says almost no aroma, almost no flavor. It's also good for baking if you wanna use coconut oil. So like in my processed snack video, I used coconut oil in all of those, the Ritz, the goldfish, the graham crackers, and needed a solid fat, but I didn't want them to be coconut flavored goldfish, so this was perfect. Broccoli rice, so. Pretty self-explanatory, cauliflower rice has been a thing now, broccoli rice is too. I love adding it to bowls with or without rice to add volume, and it's an easy way to get in your veggies. Lentils, also found in the produce section are these pre-packaged lentils. I love lentils, they're a great plant-based ingredient that's high in protein, but cooking them is kind of annoying. These are pre-cooked and they're ready to eat right out of the package cold or you can eat them warm. So convenient, not expensive, and saves so much time. Mixed nut butter. Okay, so I actually just got this recently, finally after seeing it on the shelves for a while, and it's so good. What a fun way to switch up regular nut butter because it's a mix of almonds, cashews, walnuts, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, and pecans, and it has no added sugar, which is a win. Nutritional yeast. So there's nothing specifically special about this nutritional yeast, except that it's available at Trader Joe's so it's easy to find. Nutritional yeast is an ingredient I love to use in plant-based cooking to get a cheesy flavor without dairy, but I've always had to order it or sort of search out the health food stores to find it. And now here it is, easily accessible at Trader Joe's. Seasonings, so I am all about these seasonings. The grinder seasonings are great, but my favorite is the garlic salt. I also can't get enough of this chili lime seasoning, but my ultimate favorite thing is this everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend with sea salt, garlic, and onion. Oh my gosh, it's so good on everything, but especially anything with avocado. I cannot get enough. Remember to subscribe for more content each week. It's so easy, you can do it. Just hit the button and the bell. Just mango, so. This is nothing new, but when I made my last Trader Joe's video, I didn't include this, and so many of you were like, oh my gosh, how could you not include this? So I'm including it here because you all are right, it's amazing, there's no added sugar, it actually is just dried mango, and it's delicious. Thumbs up if you've had this stuff, it's so good. Freeze dried bananas and mango. So freeze dried fruit can often be a healthier choice than dried because a lot of dry fruit does have added sugar, but the freeze drying process does not really require it. And you get a crunchy snack, which is what a lot of people crave. I personally love the mango, but my sister is obsessed with the banana. Which do you like best? Super firm tofu. Now this is an item I have not seen anywhere else. It's not just tofu, it's super firm tofu. So if you've made a tofu dish, you are probably familiar with pressing the tofu, which is what you do to get rid of the moisture before cooking. This tofu is so firm that even when I press it, very little moisture comes out. So you don't even really need to press it in advance, which eliminates so much prep time. It's so awesome, it's organic, high protein, a really great product. A few bonus items that are not necessarily healthy, but I wanted to share. First up, coconut cashews. So these are not particularly healthy, but they are a less bad indulgence. Oh my gosh, they are addicting. Forget a quarter cup being a serving, it's not possible. The second ingredient is sugar, so like I said, they're a treat, but a worthy one. And the other ingredients aren't so bad, so it's definitely a less processed treat that my body would prefer to some other packaged options. And, 
vegan marshmallows. So I know we have a lot of vegan viewers in this community, so I thought this would be appropriate to share because these marshmallows are completely vegan. That doesn't make them any healthier, they're still pretty much little fluff balls of sugar, but they use tapioca instead of gelatin, and you can sub them in for any recipe that needs marshmallows. I hope you enjoyed this haul of favorites. If you like these type of more casual chit chat videos, you should check out my other channel, Eat the Pizza. It is not health related at all, but it's a fun casual food channel all about pizza. Pizza, obviously. Uh, Christian and I host it together every week, and I can't believe our ninth episode launches tomorrow. I'll link the channel in the description box below, and I hope you'll subscribe and say hi. Thanks for watching today. If you have any Trader Joe's favorites, I wanna know, leave them in the comments below. I hope you'll subscribe for more. Thanks for being here with me. I will see you next week, and remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.